Psalm chapter 134. I want to show you some things tonight that God showed me that uh, actually I'll be honest with you, I kind of kind of, I kind of stepped back and said, wow. Has, has the Bible ever done that to you? You, you start digging into it, and all of a sudden you step back and go, my goodness, is that what that really means? I tell you what, some of this stuff in here will tear up a dignified Baptist. <laughs> I'm going to show you something tonight. It, it, it just, it's crazy. I love it. I love it. I love the Word of God. Amen. Not the Bible that Brother Lowe was reading from. That ain't the Word of God. <laughs> ain't nothing in here about Pepsi Cola. <laughs> Yeah. Amen. Psalm chapter 134, if you would stand. Let's read chapter 134 together. Ready? Behold ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Now where are you standing? In the house of the Lord. Of the Lord. All right. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. <laughs> that the Lord, I'm sorry, the Lord that made heaven and earth bless thee out of time. Now look at number 135. Ready? Here we go. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him. Wow. Three times in one setting scripture. Yes. One verse. Yes. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise Him. You ready? Oh, ye servants of the Lord. So let me ask you a question. Who is supposed to praise God? We are. Where are we supposed to praise Him? In the sanctuary. Amen. We got, we got it going on now. Now I want you to go all the way over to verse number 21 of the same song. Are you ready? Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. That, that chapter starts with praise, and it ends with praise. Amen. Oh, 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 my goodness. You know, sometimes when we come to church, we'll, we'll just sit in our pew and we'll, we'll just... Not make a holy ground. Now, I'm... I'm let, let, me, let me go ahead and clarify this. Does it make you more spiritual to jump and shout and act like a monkey sometimes? No. No, it don't. But you are praising. Amen. You are praising. I think we need to go ahead and just right back and let God know how much we love yes. Amen. Hey, listen, He did die for me. Yes. He did hang on a cross and shed yes. death for me. Come on. Now, listen to me, He didn't just die. He was persecuted for yes, me. Right. So if there's anybody at all that deserves my praise tonight, I believe it's him. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah goes right there. Yeah. Exclamation point. <laughs> <Lord. laughs> I like that. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I love you and I thank you, God. Yes. Oh, for who you are and what you are. Thank you for dying on the cross of Calvary so I can go free. Now bless this service. God bless the preaching time. Lord, move me out of the way. God, I'm, Lord, I'm just worthless flesh. Oh, God, how I need you to move and touch. Touch the one in here tonight. Help somebody with this. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated. I started reading about that word praise, and I, I told somebody, I can't remember who it was, but I started to, have you ever done a word study on a word in the Bible? You see, there's a lot of different definitions for the same word. Praise, I believe, has 10 or 12 different de definitions of it. But I looked up this specific definition to this word praise. And I found out it means this, to stultify. I ain't never heard that word in all my life. I said, well, good God Almighty, what a stultify. So I looked that word up. Can you imagine that? I can't just come in here.
here and tell you, listen, your praise means to stultify because y'all look at me like a cat looking at a new game. It's kind of like what all you are doing right now. And you're waiting for me to tell you the definition of it, aren't you? Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to make you look it up yourself. No, I'm going to tell you. Some of y'all ain't seen a dictionary in a long time. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to lose some ideas. I'm going to choke the dead. Stultify means this. this. I'm telling you, this, this will set you sideways. To make a fool of. Now, nah, man, come on. Oh, oh, listen, it gets better. To cause or to seem absurd. <laughs> That's what that phrase means. Praise ye the Lord. Praise. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise Him, O ye servants of the Lord. That's us. We yeah. don't establish the fact that we need to just go ahead and just let God know how much we love Him. Amen. Oh. If you go to an Indians game, you'll get out there and you'll Come hear on. that stupid oh. Yeah, that's one thing they ought to announce from the pulpit before 
you try to sit down. <laughs> The congregation ends up on the floor because they can't figure out how to But we're sitting there, and man, I'm talking some good preaching. I mean, by some good men. And, and, and Dr. Larry Brown was up there, a little short fellow, standing on the side of the pulpit preaching. Did you guys remember? Did you go there? You guys don't remember that? You guys skipped out on that one, didn't you? I bet. I bet. Standing on the side of the pulpit preaching. And I looked over at him, and he's, he's about to bust. He's like, <laughs> I said, brother, shout. No, 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 no. I said, why not? He said, that's just for me. I said, you look like you're going to pop. <laughs> well, it's just, it's, it's exciting. I said, then shout amen. Yes. I said, the Bible says to, 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 to shout with love. Praise the loud voice. Lift your hand. Shout. It's okay, brother. It's all right. So the preacher got going. The more I looked at him, the more redder he got. <laughs> I mean, he was going to blow up. So I said, okay, I'm going to start sitting up and shouting. I said, oh, glory. Yes, preacher. Amen. And just, just let it fly. I was having a good time then. Yeah, I was about to bust, too. Before long, no joke, he's sitting, he's sitting over there. He's like, <laughs> watching me. The preacher over here, tell what he's saying. Sooner, sooner or later, you know, he's, he's sitting there, all of a sudden he's like, get close to the edge of the seat. And he's good back. He got like, <laughs> the truth, if I'm lined up down He's like, and he goes, Woo! <laughs> no joke. He was so scared. He was so scared to give God a little bit of glory for what he was doing inside. Listen to me. When God starts doing something inside of you and starts stirring something inside yeah, of you, yeah. let me tell you something. You can't help. Amen. You can't help but get excited. Good God Almighty, you're on your way to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. That's good enough to shout about. Amen. Hey, and by the way, you get the benefits of the blessings of God. Good God Almighty, that's good enough to write about. Amen. Why is it such a hard time telling people about Jesus? Because they don't want what you got because you walk around like years old. Now you're going to pop. Let it go. Man, you guys look at me like you are a <laughs> That word praise means oh. it's maybe you might make a fool of yourself. Yeah. That means every now and then you're going to have to let go or something's going to blow. 